What's up, it's Lalo. In this video, I want to show you how you can use custom characters in Unreal Engine 4 with Live Link Face. And so starting off, you'll need a character with basically Apple AR kit blend shapes. And so right now I just got a Genesis 3 male character together and uh, I've just imported in the Face Mojo blend shapes and named them accordingly to the Apple AR kit names. And so you'll see I got all 52 of them here and some extra shapes that we don't need to worry about. And then they actually don't need to be named exactly the way the AR kit names them. It makes it a little bit easier, but you can actually remap them in inside of Unreal if you want to, an Unreal Engine. All right, so this is gonna be a basic video, so I'm gonna start from the very beginning. <laughs> so we, uh, I just got uh, Unreal Engine kind of loaded up here. And then for this demonstration, I'm gonna just go ahead and create a whole new project. So I'm just going to create a film, television, a live events project. And then I'm just going to use a blank template. And then I'm going to go ahead and just disable ray tracing and use no uh, starter content. And then I'm just going to name this demo project for now. And then hit create project. All right, so now that we got Unreal Engine fired up here, we uh, we need to import in our character via FBX. So I kind of like the folder view here. So I'm going to click the sources panel. And then I kind of have a habit of organizing stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and create a new folder and just call it assets. And then jump into that folder and then import in that uh, character. All right. And then when this FBX import options dialog box comes up, I usually just use the uh, basically the default settings. So I'm just gonna hit reset to defaults to kind of show that. And then except for underneath mesh, we wanna expand this to show the advanced options. And we need the import morph targets to use with the Apple AR kit. Um, and so after I check that, I'm just gonna hit import. All right, now that that's done importing here, I got a uh, a message log it's kind of giving me some warnings here but i'm not going to worry about any of those <laughs> they shouldn't uh, interfere with what i'm demonstrating so i'm just going to go ahead and close that out all right and so now we have uh, all the assets in here we got our uh, our character and its uh, mesh and all its textures and all that stuff and so i'm just going to go ahead and load in or drag in this character and we want the skeletal mesh so it's the one with the pink bar on the bottom so i'm just going to drag that in not really too worried about where i drag it into and we'll just kind of find it his face here all right and now i'm going to create a new folder and just call it uh animations and then jump into that folder and we'll need to create a new animations blueprint and so just right click here inside the uh, content library or content browser and then we'll go to animation, animation blueprint. And then I usually just use this animation instance as the parent class. And then well, you need to use his skeleton as the, uh, the target skeleton. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay. And then I'm just gonna name this uh, face mojo live link. And so now that we got that, we wanna double click on it to open up the, I don't know what you call this here, <laughs> the blueprint editor, I guess. And so we're in the animation graph section here. And uh, the first thing we'll need is a uh, live link pose. So I'm gonna right click and then it'll bring up this uh, list of all the blueprints that we can have in here. And then I'll just start typing in live link and you'll see that live link pose comes up. So we'll need a double, we'll need to bring that in and then I kind of didn't demonstrate or didn't mention this, but you'll need to download the Live Link app on your iPhone, of course. You got to install it. And then once you open it up, you need to add in the IP address to your, um, to your computer. And to find that in Windows anyway, I can just go down here to go to the network, right click and go to open network and internet settings. We go to ethernet and then the right network then we can find the IP address right here. So mine's 192.168.0.104. So then you'll want to go into the Live Link app on your iPhone, hit the little gear icon on the top left, and then you'll see at the very top it says Live Link. 
click that and then uh, you can put in your your name of your phone mine's just iPhone right now and then under underneath the subject name you'll see targets and that's where you want to add in the IP address and then I just left the default port and then uh, accept all that and then once that is done we can close and close this out we should see the live link subject name here and this is just the name that you saw in the live link um, app so I'm gonna go ahead and select that and then we can go ahead and just drag the output of the live link pose into the results here and then uh, we'll need to add this animation blueprint to our character and so if we select him in the viewport or in the outliner here go to the details and then under animation go to an animation mode should be use animation blueprint and then the animation class will just want to select that blueprint we created so mine's uh, face mojo live link and then in the same section we can kind of collapse some of these guys to make it a little bit easier to find we'll want to find the uh, skeletal mesh and here it is and then we need to check the update animation and editor box here and so now let's reopen up this um, face mojo live link blueprint that we created and let's go ahead and go to the event graph and then uh, right now you'll see that everything is kind of disabled and so what we we'll want to do is right click here and type in uh, live link again and we'll want to do evaluate live link frame so we'll bring in one of those nodes and then we'll just simply drag out the output of this to the input of that and then that should make it so it updates our viewport while we're looking into our our camera here and so then I'm gonna go ahead and hit compile oops and I, it's giving me an error here because I forgot to put the subject I need a subject pick the same um, source subject that I did in the animation graph live link pose here so I'll go ahead and click uh, iPhone now hit compile and that should work this time so we'll let it compile some shaders and now you'll see that it's actually working right away and so this is like the very basic basic setup um, basically you want to do some more stuff than this like you will want to actually calibrate the uh, the iPhone output of your face to the blend shapes that you imported in for your custom character and that's a little bit more advanced I'll, I'll make another video showing that but this is only my uh second day in unreal engine here so give me a little second a little bit of time oh yeah and then you also see that his eyes you know they don't look like crap because they're not transparent or anything but i'm not going to show you how to um you know go through and set up uh, shaders inside Unreal Engine. I actually don't know how to do that yet. Because <laughs> like I said, this is only my second day in Unreal Engine. Um, and then I do want to show you though real quick, if you have, a, if your blend shapes are named differently than the Apple AR kits, what you can do is create a, a um, remap blueprint. And so let me show you how to do that real quick. So now what we'd want to do is right click in here again, and then we'll create a blueprint blueprint class. And for this, we'll just expand the all classes. And then um, in the little search box here, I'm going to type in remap. And then we need a live link remap asset. So I'm going to go ahead and click that and hit select. And now I'll just uh, call this face mojo live link remap. Hit enter. And then we can open this guy up just by double clicking it. And now what we need to do is we can jump back over to our face mojo live link blueprint and then go to the animation graph, and then we'll select the live link pose node here and then the retarget asset we'll want to select the one we just created so it's the live uh, face mojo live link remap and then we'll jump back over here go to functions and do it select an override and then we want to get remapped curve name and so that'll uh bring in these two nodes here and then what we'll need to do is create a switch so I'm gonna right click and do a switch and then uh, let me find the right one here I forget what it's called I think it's switch on name yeah switch on name and so we'll need to link these guys here first so we'll select the output of this guy and then drag it to the input of the switch on name and now we'll have a uh, we don't need a default because 
because there is no real default state um, for the scenario. So we'll go ahead and undo or uncheck this has default pin. And then we'll add a pin. And we'll expand this to get the names. And so what you'd want to do here is you need to use the Apple blend shape, the ARKit blend shape name. And so uh, and so if we jump to the developer Apple um, ARKit blend shape names here, we can see that we have all the names in this list. And so we just need to take the ones that are mismatched from our character and then uh, retarget them to the... Uh, so these names are what we would need to put in the um, the case right here. So for example, let's go back here. Say if our eye blink left is called something different. I'm just going to open this up because it's easier to highlight this here. So I blink left. We'll just copy that and then jump back over here. And then so the case would be I blink left and then we would need a return node. And what we'd want this to return is whatever value we have in our skeletal mesh. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm actually going to merge these tabs up here to make it a little bit easier for myself. So we'll jump back over here and then we'll go back to the asset and double click the skeletal mesh asset. And then you'll see these are the names of all the blend shapes. And, and mine actually match the Apple AR kit. So I don't technically need to do this. But um, so, but if your eye blink left was like eye blink underscore L, then you'd want to take that name and put it in this remap return value. So we just go to I blink underscore L and then we drag this guy onto the, uh, <laughs> onto this guy. <laughs> um, so yeah, we just make sure that the, uh, the I blink left right here it, it makes it look prettier here. But so this is attached to the return value that we want, which would be the eye blink underscore L. And then since you may have to do this for multiple nodes, what you can do is just right click on this and then click duplicate and use the duplicate and add pin. And then if we needed another case here, we could just go to I blink right and just continue on down and then return the, we could change this to the R to write and then drag the output of this to the input of this or whatever they call it in Unreal Engine. And there you go. You just re rinse and repeat until all your blend shape names um, get remapped to the AR kit blend shape, blend shape names. And that's basically all you'd have to do. And then you just have to make sure you come back here and then recompile it. But I'm not going to compile it since I don't need those because mine are named properly. So if we just jump back over here, you'll see that he's still talking away. Oh yeah, and then I also didn't mention that I didn't set up any kind of head rotation. Um, that's a little more advanced too, so I'll have to demonstrate that in another video. Anyway, I hope you found this helpful. It's like I said, just the very basic initial setup. Uh, yeah, I'll demonstrate more as I learn more. Thanks for watching, and you guys have a great day.